Home Remedies presents The Vitamin That Doubles Your Chance of Preventing and Beating Cancer Hi friends, good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all of you. I hope all of you are fine and in good health as you are watching my videos. I am Rabia and back again today to inform my viewers about that essential vitamin that many of us are lacking nowadays and it is becoming a reason for us grow various deadly diseases within us. What is that vitamin? Any guesses? I will give you 5 seconds. Vitamin D Several studies have established an inverse link between the vitamin D levels within the blood and cancer disease. A significant evidence shows that higher levels of vitamin D within the plasma is related to lower incidences of various diseases. This is true due to the vital role that vitamin D plays in many biochemical processes within the body. Guys be with me till the end to know more on the subject today. What is the dose response relationship between vitamin D and cancer risk? Thousands of cases of cancer can be averted if individuals in colder weather increased the concentration of vitamin D in their blood. Many epidemiological and ecological studies have shown increased cancer rates in higher latitudes around the world, particularly colon, breast and prostate cancers. With higher latitude comes a lower exposure to ultraviolet radiation from the sun which is an essential part to maintain an adequate vitamin D levels within the blood. The UV light from the sun activates pre-vitamin D in the skin cells into active vitamin D3. When the worldwide data on winter vitamin D levels was examined by the researchers at the University of California, San Diego, they found out that colon and breast cancer risk rose as the level of vitamin D dropped in the blood. Maintaining a blood level above 32 nanograms per milliliter was protective for breast cancer, while above 22 nanograms per milliliter was protective for colon cancer. These were not deemed optimal levels, but levels at which a protective effect was seen. The average late winter blood level of 25 hydroxy vitamin D in the United States is well below the protective levels at 15 to 18 nanograms per milliliter. The authors of the study recommended that if individuals achieved a blood level of at least 55 nanograms per milliliter, approximately 85,000 cases of breast cancer and 60,000 cases of colon cancer could be avoided annually. In the equatorial regions, where people remain upon their natural whole food diet, there are low incidences of cancer. As you go further away from the equator to less sunny climates, the cancer incidence rises. Diet is still a factor in all situations, nevertheless. Sources of Vitamin D Direct exposure to sunlight is one of the best sources. Light skin only needs around 5 minutes exposure to get a good daily amount. Darker skin needs more. UV light from the sun will not penetrate glass or most clothing. Whole body exposure is not needed. Vitamin D is synthesized in the skin and then transported for use in the body. Short periods of 15 to 20 minutes every other day are quite enough. Butter and eggs, egg yolk, whole grain bread, oily ocean fish, mackerel, salmon, this should be taken in moderation as fish unfortunately are a source of mercury which is a neurotoxin. Liver Supplements You should ensure you get vitamin D3 and not the synthetic versions such as D2. You can safely take up to 50 mcg 2000 IU daily. If you liked the video and found it informative and helpful, click the like button and subscribe to my channel for new videos daily. Don't forget to press the bell icon to be notified whenever I publish a new video. Share on your social networks 
to help others benefit from it too. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.